This question looks scary, but it, it's kind of just a, a twisted version of something we really need to know how to do in a more basic level. They're giving us an exponential equation, and by giving us all these numbers, they're giving us points to plug into that equation. Now, in a way, they're, they're telling us some things about how this is going to work, right? There's 24,000 um, bacteria, um, so that's going to be uh, where R and C are constant, and P is the number of bacteria after the initial uh, in measurement. So we, actually, they are just telling it to us. 24,000, I'm going to write it down here, um, is going to be the value of P, so 24,000. Uh, they they don't tell us the C. Um, hopefully you know from experience what that's going to be, but even if not, we know that we're solving for R, so that's a mystery. And they tell us T hours, and here they say it's four hours, so we can put four in for T, and that just leaves 12,000 as the value for C. And the reason we should know that anyway is this formula mimics what I call the open formula um, that I use for exponentials. So it's a little different. It kind of looks like the word open. There's lots of reasons for that. So you've seen maybe in my other videos. Um, but basically, the O stands for the original amount. And that matches up with the C. So they do tell us it's initially 12,000 bacteria. So that's why I know that would go there. The biggest difference between my version and this version is the exponent is way more complicated here. And that's okay, my, my version doesn't account for that, but I can deal with it because it's a slight change to something that I'm familiar with. And when the SAT makes those slight changes, that's okay, we just deal with them. Here, all I needed to do is plug in everything else I know, and the rest is gonna work itself out. So what I would do here is just start simplifying. Um, if I did start to kind of clean this up a bit, what I would do is get rid of the 12,000 on each side. So that gets rid of this. And I can't really touch the two to the r times four because that's all kind of its own thing. But 24,000 divided by 12,000 is just two. And then two to the four r, we can kind of see what's going on here. Now, since the bases are the same, we've got a two on both sides, we just say, okay, well then the exponents on those twos are also the same. And the four r is clearly one of those exponents, but what's the exponent on the left side? Well, if it's just a two, then it's two to the first. So really all I care about now is that this one and this four r have to be the same thing. So now I have a smaller, easier equation, one is equal to four r, and then I can solve that by dividing both sides by four, and now you can see that r is one fourth, and that is choice b, and that is the answer. Um, Exponentials are just part of the SAT, you know, cinematic universe. You have to know them. They don't come up as often as things like lines and quadratics. But when they do come up, they do follow this kind of same formula. So what this is basically telling us is we have this doubling. It happens in kind of a weird interval. And that's why the exponent is weird in the version that they give us. But uh, everything else follows the very normal way that we think about exponentials. We have a starting value, we have an exponent, and we have a resulting value. So we do want to get comfortable with that formula so that way when they do twist it up, we're okay kind of untwisting it and getting back to that, that normal place. But at the end of the day, I would say that this really was a simple example of my favorite strategy, plug points into equations. So if you can keep that in mind, then you won't panic and you'll be able to get this hard question right.